All right, all-star game content is here. And not only the all-star game content, but we're gonna be completing the all-star collection and the season two collection in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the all-star content. We have 99 overall, all-star game MVP, Jaron Duran. 115-106 contact, 125-90 power, 125 clutch with 90 fielding and 99 speed. He fits the Corbin Carroll boost. He's my favorite pick in this round. However, there's a very good second pick, and that's going to be 99 overall Juan Soto. 116-110 contact, 120-95 power with 125 clutch. Great card. Probably a, be a DH for me if when I want to use him. Because 58 speed in the outfield is just not good enough to me. I don't care how good his fielding stats are. 58 speed is just not going to get to a lot of balls that you need to get to. And then we have 97 Bryce Harper in the mid round. 104, 100, 106, 86. Still the 125 clutch, which is really, really good. 64 speed, basically a lower end Juan Soto. Basically what I would call Bryce Harper here. Then we have switch hitter. Anthony Santander, 109.95, 118.109, and 111 clutch. This would be my pick for the mid round simply because he's a switch hitter. He could play first base, and that's just probably where I would play this card would be at first base. Now, next we have Trey Turner. This is my other pick for this round. He might take over Anthony Santander's pick simply because he fits the Corbin Carroll boost. 119, 113 power or contact, 78, 86 power, 114 clutch with 91 fielding and 99 speed. And then finally, our base round, no one's going to pick this card, but we got Kirby Yates, 125, 125, 125 clutch, 99 break. The problem is he's got four seam splitter and slider, no quirks. Here is one of my picks, but not my favorite pick in the base round, and that is David Fry. 104-106 contact, 88-103 power, 107 clutch. Pretty good card. Plays first base, third base, and catcher. So if you need a catcher, this is a pretty good card. His other card was also pretty good that he had. But my favorite pick in the base round is going to be Robert Suarez, and that's because 117-120 on his hits per nine and Ks per nine. He's also got 99 velo, 99 break, one tip pitch and clutch, and he's got every pitch that you need. He's got the four seam, the sinker, the circle change, the slider, the cutter, the sinker cutter combination, and then the slider is just so good. And of course, he's got outlier on his fastball, outlier on his sinker as well. That's why he's my favorite pick in the base round. So now when we go over to the collections, Keep in mind, you will get a free card. If you collect 20 of them, you get a free all-star pack. If you collect 18, you get a free home run derby pack from last night. And if you collect 12, you get a free draft choice pack from the draft. And don't forget to get the discounted one for 5,000 stubs. You basically get a free card, guaranteed profit if you want to sell the card, and a chance at the 99 overall, which goes for around 100,000 stubs. Now, we are going to collect every single, well, not every single card, but all 80 of the cards that we need. I think there's, we got one on this page, and then we got two more on the other page. So now we have all 80 which unlocks 99 overall Aaron Judge, 112, 116 contact, 125 power both sides, 113 clutch. Very good card. Still a card I probably would not use in the outfield. He'd probably be a DH if I want to use him. On top of that, we already got Shohei Otani. He is a DH, 113, 101, 125, 94, 100 clutch. He fits the Corbin Carroll boost with the 90 speed. And one of my favorite cards out of this was Fernando Tatis, 117-105, 111, 85, and just 87 fielding, 94 speed, fits a Corbin Carroll, Carroll boost. He's going to get that max contact pretty much. And then Paul Skeens is also really good. He doesn't have a sinker on this card. In a season 199, he had a sinker, but he does have outlier on a splitter, which that's the pitch that replaced the sinker. So he's got an outlier one and outlier two on his splitter. Now for the season two collection, we are two cards away 
from completing the season two collection and we're just going to collect these two right here uh if you, if you guys are wondering where you guys get the other draft cards like the pick 39 the pick 38 they are in the recent conquest map it, you can repeat the conquest map the draft conquest map four times and you get three cards each time so you, you can get all 12 cards if you just do the conquest map 12 times that is 40 games so it's about a usa conquest map plus 10 but we have 250 cards we just got our last season two collection boss boss which is going to be frank thomas so frank thomas welcome to the squad season two collections done the season two xp reward path is done so now we're just waiting we're just waiting for new content new cards to come out eventually season three will come out but that's okay we got college football that we can grind as well but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe for new turn notifications on leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one